Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan. I am in my car bright and early, already with some Starbucks, one for me, one for my best friend, Melissa, because today is day one of classroom setup, and it is a little bit sad. It's very exciting because day one of classroom setup, my building has been under construction all summer long, and this is the first day we can get in. However, of course, the first day that we can get in, I have a required meeting, like training, for pretty much the whole day. It's from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., so I cannot get into my classroom and until after which is a bit of a bummer but it is what it is I am ready to go set up when I'm done with this training so hopefully it will go by kind of quickly and then I can get to my classroom and actually the first portion of this vlog is being sponsored by Halara so I'm wearing a cute little Halara dress right now Okay, here is a better view at the dress I was wearing for classroom setup. This is the Flow 2-in-1 Flare Activity Dress, the wannabe version, and I have it in black, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. It was so comfortable all day for classroom setup. I love the built-in shorts, and also the fabric is really cool because it's actually pet hair resistant, and I have a cat who sheds all the time, so I always get nervous with black clothes, but I did not find a single cat hair on this, which is great. And then also, I love the cross detail in the back. I just think this is so stinking cute, and then this dress is my... My absolute favorite one that I got from Halara. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I love the shape of it. I love the bubblegum pink color. I love the collar. I just think it's so cute. And then again, it comes with matching shorts. Now this one, the shorts aren't connected, which is kind of nice because then I can wear the shorts on their own as well. I love the cross, or not cross, but whatever you call that in the back, the racer back or whatever. So stinking cute. I feel like I'm having my like Marilyn Monroe moment when I wear this. This is their cloudful fabric, it's called. And oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. This next one is also that same cloudful fabric. It's just like so buttery soft and I absolutely love this. I love the zipper detail. I love the white color. I just think it's really cute and I could totally wear this for school as well because it has a nice thick strap on the top and also it's longer on me. I am fairly short. I'm only 5'1", but it is nice and long on me and I just think this is so stinking cute. It's so soft, so comfortable. I love the fit and also I love the little shorts again. They have a pocket. I believe all their shorts that I have have a pocket. It, which is so nice and it's just super comfy and I love it and then this next one that I got is a little skirt and it's so cute this is more for like the weekends and stuff for me because it is really short but it's like a little squirt that ties on the side oh my gosh is this ever cute I'll totally wear this like on the weekends and I just absolutely love it it is definitely shorter so be mindful of that but it would be really cute just for you know like weekend wear and stuff like that I really love the tie detail on the side and then the last thing that I got from them are these shorts that are high rise and they're just super comfortable they have a nice thick waistband the fabric is really really nice and soft and again these are shorter so I would just wear these for like the weekends and stuff but they're double lined and these would be perfect if you're like a runner I am not <laughs> but if you are these would be absolutely perfect I've seen so many different Halara ads and I've wanted to try their stuff for a really long time so I was super excited when they reached out and I absolutely love every single thing that I picked out and I was really excited to work with them on this video Thank you, Halara, for partnering with me on the first portion of this video. So exciting. Anyways, I need to get going to my training, and then I will see you after in my classroom. And I already peeked in the windows yesterday. We weren't allowed to get in, but I was driving by anyway. So I peeked in the windows. I have boxes stacked up all over my room. So I'm excited to start digging into them, unpacking them, seeing what is inside. And I think tomorrow and Friday, my mom's going to come in and help me with some classroom stuff as well. So yay for classroom setup. I've been getting so many emails emails and messages and all of the things asking me, Kim, when is classroom setup coming? Are you not doing it this year? I am. It just took me an awful long time to be able to get in my classroom. So it is life. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead to the training and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>
Okay, hello sweet friends. So I just turned off all the lights because I feel like it made the lighting maybe better, but actually now that I'm looking at myself, I don't know if it did. Also, I'm like glistening because a bunch of you have asked. We did not get air conditioning, unfortunately. Um, I did just run home a little bit ago though and got my fans because I had forgot to bring them with me and I was dripping. So yes, I got three fans that are set up around my room. I just turned them off so I could film this little clip, but it is about 7.20 right now. Actually, it just turned 7.20. And I am here. My room is an absolute disaster, but my heart is happy because one of my teammates just brought me dinner. I mentioned, so I asked him what his dinner plans were, and he said that his daughter was making him dinner and mentioned that she was making an egg roll bowl. And I was like, I love egg rolls. And so anyways, he texted me and he was like, hey, are you still at school? I'm gonna bring you some, and I was. So him and his daughter just stopped by and brought me an egg roll bowl, and oh my gosh, is this ever delicious? I need to get the recipe. I'm kind of getting into the zone finally. I'm feeling very overwhelmed with the amount of boxes. Like they're just everywhere and it's like hard to remember like what's where. Like obviously it's all mixed up. So like I'm just opening boxes and it's like who knows what. So nothing's like organized in a way that really makes sense. And then also I had some stuff at home. I have some stuff in my parents storage unit. There's stuff everywhere. So I'm trying to do what I can. I'm trying to mostly like open and organize. So I'm just kind of like laying everything out right now. And then as I find a home for it, I'm putting stuff away. Like I just started doing that though. So I'm gonna walk you around, show you how it's looking, show you how it's going. I am feeling sweaty and overwhelmed, but I'm feeling happy that I'm here <laughs> and happy that I'm like getting this done. So not getting it done. I'm not even close to getting it done, but that I'm here, you know, that's fine. So let me walk you around and I'll show you how it is looking. Okay, so let's turn the lights back on. There's a big fan going in the hallway. I just closed my door because all of my team just left and so I'm not gonna like chat with anyone. And so yeah, my door is black now, which is so nice. And then here are the cabinets, which you already would have seen. I have stuff, absolutely everywhere <laughs> but it's okay so i have a ton of boxes right here that i need to break down at some point but that's not like super high priority and then i have a lot of boxes that are just kind of like sitting open that need to be unpacked eventually but i just don't really know where everything's going i ended up moving my desk over this way and i really think i'm gonna like that better because i like barely spend any time at my desk as of right now so it didn't make sense for it to like go this way and take up so much space also one of my coworkers has her small group table like at her actual desk and she says it works really well for her so i'm debating trying it i don't know i just like scooted it over here for right now i don't know if it will live there forever and here is the disaster that is my classroom right now check it out I literally have stuff everywhere everywhere and I just don't really know what to do with it I have been running all around unloading the boxes doing what I can and I just feel like I'm making it look so much worse <laughs> but that's okay um, it has to get worse before it can get better right so Anyways, it is what it is. I'm a little bit sad about this situation because they added in a closet, like cabinet thing over there, which I love more storage. That's great. I just don't love the placement because that was my little book nook right here where I had a bookshelf and my little canopy and stuff. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the bookshelf that was over there. Right now it's in storage. So I just don't really know about that. We'll have to figure that out. And then we got new windows, which looks so nice. I absolutely love them. I'm hoping they add blinds on them because that does not feel very safe. You can see in literally like from the street. So hoping they add blinds. But yes, this is what the situation is looking like. I just started finding some of the fabric because I was thinking it might make sense to do my bulletin boards. I think my mom's gonna do the wood wall tomorrow. She's planning on being here like all day. So the wood paper is actually in her storage unit. So I could not get a head start on that. I kind of wanted to because I'm like, that is a fun thing that I can get done. It's not actually fun to put it up, but it's fun once it's up, like it looks good. And then I have some bookshelves over here. I started putting some of the bins away in the back room but I actually have more in storage still too. So these are just some of my bins, but I, I'd say this, this is like the majority of them, I think. So I have some bins on there. I think I actually might use these bookshelves like for books this year, but not for my classroom library, more for like extra books, which I kind of did last year. I had some over there. And then I have this little cart from Michael's. I got my couch back. I was storing it in one of my friend's classrooms who um, was not getting as much work done in her room. She wasn't getting like new carpets or anything. So I asked her if I could put my couch in there and she let me. So she helped me get it back to my room today. I have just a ton of stuff on the ground. This is all like pillows and cushions and book buddies and all the things. So I just started like throwing them back here. 
And then I'm thinking I might have my library over here this year. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I just kind of like willy-nilly am moving things around right now. Pretty much all the desks are in the center of the room. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough. That does not look like enough desks. I'm just like glancing at it. So we'll have to wait and see. But this is what it's looking like. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. <laughs> officially midnight which means it is time to head out because I've been here for far too long I got here around like 3 15 today and I did end up leaving a couple times I left to go get the fans and then I also went to get a crumble cookie with one of my friends and then came back but I feel like you can't really tell that I've been working in here all day because it's still a big huge mess however I'm starting to feel a little bit better I'm slowly but surely making progress. There's still a lot of work to be done. Tomorrow's gonna be a huge day. My mom's coming all day tomorrow. We're gonna be here bright and early again and she's gonna help me work on putting up the wood wall. I'm hoping maybe we can get the library work done tomorrow as well because I have books in so many boxes right now and I'd love to just start getting those on the shelves. And yeah, just a lot of things are gonna start getting put away tomorrow. That haven't been put away already so I've definitely made some progress though I'm feeling pretty good so I'm gonna walk you around and show you what the room is looking like right now and then that will be all for day one of setup so here we go let's go take a look around okay so this is my first set of cabinets when you first walk in I started putting some math supplies and like manipulatives and stuff on this side on this side I'm going to have all of my ELA like um, curriculum readers over there and then I just have some like random stuff up here I am very blessed because I have a lot of storage in my room which I feel very very appreciative for so I have like a ton of random bins and stuff that I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with yet I used them for my library last year I don't know if I'll be using as many or like the same ones this year I don't know so I just stuck them up there for now so they were out of the way I have some bins over here my cubbies they actually kept my little labels from last year I wasn't sure if they would or if they would peel them off but they left those on so that's one less thing to worry about so that's good and these are on my TPT as well if you're interested and then over here is all the new storage which is looking awesome I'm hoping that they're still gonna put in a soap dispenser and paper towels because I don't have that yet and I don't really know where it would go unless I go 
goes like over there maybe, but I don't really know how that's going to work. So we'll find out. But I started putting some of my picture books down there, like my nice hardcover ones. I just didn't really have a different spot for them. So that's where they are for now. I have not put anything up here yet. So those are all just empty. I am trying moving my small group table up here. I can't remember if I've already said this or not. So if I did, I apologize. Maybe I'll just cut this out if I did already say it. And then I moved my desk too. So it used to go out this way and now I have it flush against the wall, which I think I'll really like. So yeah, that's my crumble cookie <laughs> that I got earlier. And then I think I'm going to put my fridge out here. I've always had my fridge in the back room. Well, not always, but like in this room, I had my fridge in the back room last year, but I'm thinking that might be a good spot for it right there with my microwave on top and then my Keurig over here. And then this can just be like teacher space with students, you know, so it's like all encompassing right in here. I have my stage open and I pretty much filled it. I have a ton of leftover tissues and stuff last year. I was really blessed last year with some incredible parents who just kept donating extras, and so I ended up with a lot of extra like tissues and wipes and stuff like that, which is awesome. And then over on the side, I need to better organize that, but I started putting in some of my paper copies of books that I use for groups. I have my seat sacks over here, and then pretty much all of these boxes are books. Not every single one, but like almost all of them are books, so I need to to start working on the library tomorrow but I wanted to wait till the wood wall was done so then I could try to really focus in on the library after that so I have chapter books picture books all the books <laughs> there's just like so many in all these different boxes but I do still have some things in storage as well so it was just kind of tricky figuring out like where to put everything I did get out my book boxes though and put my reading street books and those which is our reading curriculum so I stuck those in there and then over here we got this new little like closet cabinet thing it actually locked so I think the idea is that we could put like any personal materials in there, but I don't know if I actually will or not. So I just started putting some like random stuff in there. I don't know. Things still might move, but this is what they're looking like right now. So yes, I'm kind of thinking I want to move my library to the back of the room over here. So this is where they put the shelves when they brought them in, and I kind of like it. I don't know. <laughs> so I haven't 100% decided, but I think that that could be like a really cozy space because usually I keep my nonfiction books over here, so then it would be kind of fun if I have all my chapter books on here. And I think that would be like the perfect amount of space for all of them, I think. I don't know actually for sure because now I'm thinking that um, my other shelves actually have four shelves and those only have three so I don't know we'll see I don't know I might have to play around with it a little bit but it is what it is also I just like randomly kind of like haphazardly threw all of the plush things back here and figured I will sort those tomorrow because that was not going to happen today so those are just in a pile this is all like fabric and tablecloths and random stuff that I need to figure out and sort through and then I did get some work done on my back room and it's looking pretty good so again this still might move around but this is what it's looking like for right now so I got a ton of my baskets out I thought that some of them were in um, my mom's storage unit but actually I had almost all of them I think in my boxes but then we do have some like bigger storage boxes which are I think maybe what I was thinking of because those are at her house well in her storage unit which is by her house so yes I have this all going on that top part is empty and I still have a lot of space so again I'm just feeling very grateful for having a lot of space and as far as the construction that they did they gave us new carpet so this is all new carpet and I like it I don't think it will show like dirt and spills as much as um I don't know it could like our old one didn't really either but yeah I just don't think that it will show any of that and then also we got new windows and then that new cabinetry that I showed you. So they actually took out our class bathrooms. I used to have a little bathroom in this corner. And then also I used to have a door to my friend Anne's room. She teaches right next door. So when they created this little space, they took out the door, which was a bummer. So I'm kind of sad that I don't have a door to her room anymore, but that's okay. I'll just walk around. Um, but the cabinets look really, really nice. I kind of wish they would have replaced these ones too, because it does look a little bit silly because like on this side these are significantly older than I am and then you look over here and these are like beautiful and new so I don't know part of me wants to ask if I can paint these but I don't think I would have time or energy to do that 
like in the next week anyways. So maybe we'll save that for next summer. <laughs> Plus who knows, like maybe I'll get moved from this room again. So I don't know, but the door got painted as well and it looks so nice. And then also they painted the trim black. It was blue before and I really like the black. I think it looks so much better. So yeah, that's what the room is looking like. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you can see the rest of my setup videos. I will be filming one every single day until my PDs start on Monday. And even then I might do some filming after my PD. I don't know, we'll see what happens. So I'll at least have a handful of these up kind of all back to back. I'm gonna be pretty much living here in my classroom for the next several days, trying to get all of this done and ready for open house and ready for starting a new year with my students. I'm really excited. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.